Yeah, next speaker is Mr. Dwayne Roark. Come forward, state your name and address, please. My name is Dwayne Roark. I live at 3780 Newsom Road here in Valdosta, Georgia. I've lived here for 47 years. And uh, I, I came and I'm not prepared. I don't have a great speech written. I uh, saw Kerry posted on Facebook and I had about 15 minutes to get up here. And he said, if you want to get up here and say something about us, you know, you've got 15 minutes. Actually, that was on the Facebook post. But uh, my dad and I, my mother passed away a little over two years ago. And um, we, we were using the recycling centers, and uh, we've always been responsible citizens. We tried to do our best at recycling. And then we were told that the recycling centers were going to close. And uh, we knew that Kerry was in business, but at that time, we kind of liked going to the recycling centers because we had bulkier items. So uh, we got to talking to some people at the recycling centers, and they said that we must do business with advanced uh, recycling. And uh, they just kept pounding that, you know, into our heads that we had to use advanced. We had to use advanced. And uh, my dad wasn't happy about it, and uh, I didn't have a problem with it. So uh, we did what a responsible citizen should do, and we signed up for their service. Well, uh, when they finally brought us our cans, which uh, it was uh, quite some time before they brought us our cans, uh, we went ahead and filled our cans, and they told us what day they were going to pick them up. And uh, first of all, they sent us out the wrong uh, sheet, and we called them and asked them how come we didn't have our garbage picked up. And they said, oh, we, we, there was a mistake made and all this stuff. And I uh, said, okay, well, we, we'll, we'll, we'll go with that. You know, there was a mistake made. So six days later, our can was finally picked up. And I'm not here to talk about uh, another company. I'm not here to, to put down another company or anything like that. Uh, we started asking around the neighborhood, and they said, hey, you know, Deep South Sanitation will pick up over here on Newsom Road, too. And I said, you've got to be kidding. And uh, so we called the telephone number for Deep South, and guess who answered the phone? Kerry answered the phone, and he said, I'd be glad to take care of y'all's uh, sanitation needs. So we had a can out there that same day. Okay, same day can was delivered. In fact, it was delivered sooner than he said he would bring it. So we're very happy with the service that we're getting. And, uh, you know, we, we've had a good time with our garbage men, our garbage pickup crew. Uh, I've actually become friends with, with a, bit, a closer friend with Carrie. Uh, we went to school together. Um, and we like doing business with him because he is a family-owned business. We know where that money is going. We know that that money is being spent locally. What little bit he makes. I think he's got one truck. I mean, here's a man with one truck. What harm is he doing? And we like the service that we get, and we like the fact that we have a choice. I mean, the last time I looked, Lowndes County was in the United States of America, not Russia. I mean, I don't like being told what I must do. Now, I'm a law-abiding citizen, but when I'm told you don't have a choice, when I'm told that I must drive a Ford, I got a problem with that. I'm a Chevy man. But, I, I, you know, I like the service that we're getting. I like Kerry as a, as a, he's a great person. Met his wife for the first time. I, I haven't had the privilege to meet her. She's a great lady. I know his daughter. I, I know the majority of his family. They're great people. And I'm just asking that y'all y'all give him a chance. Give him a break. He's not trying to put anybody else out of business. He's just trying to stay in business. And he's got my vote. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Roark.